Hello, Marielos. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Fine. Uy, la oigo apagada. Cansado nada más del trabajo. Ay, ay, my end. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. How are you today? Doing good? Fine, thank you. Fine. <laughs> and you? <laughs> I'm doing excellent. Thank you for asking. Cansada como, como Marielo, pero ahí vamos. <laughs> Ay, sí, yo también estoy muerta, muerta, muerta. <laughs> right? Y todavía vamos por miércoles. It's awful. Yeah. No vamos por miércoles. But let's see what happens. Uh, hello, Lester. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Doing good? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, wonderful. Glad to hear that, Lester. So, guys, today we're going to practice. We're going to start doing what we we're doing yesterday, right? And let's see. I'm going to switch to Spanish a little bit, right? Just give me one second. Uh, ¿Cómo les va a ustedes ahorita con eh, los correos y todo lo demás? ¿Recibieron los con correos? Los, con, con el correo que nos ha estado cayendo de inglés corporativo, ¿verdad? Exacto, sí. Eh, la verdad que yo no he podido responderlo directamente a Recursos Humanos de la empresa, pero sí me ha caído toda la información. Eh, ok, perfecto. Y también en el, en el WhatsApp sí me ha escrito directamente Jonathan. Ok, wonderful, wonderful. Los demás, si tienen alguna duda con eso, eh, yo los puedo solamente comunicar con la persona correcta. En este caso, como dice ella, Jonathan, para que Jonathan les dé la información pertinente acerca de esos cursos. ¿Ok? Teacher, una consulta. Sí, me asustó. ¿Sí? Yes. <risa> eh, en el caso del módulo 4, ahora me llamaron... Pero uh -huh. me dijeron que el módulo 4 ya no es igual al módulo 1, 2 y 3, sino que el módulo 4, no sé si estoy en lo correcto, eh, consta de dos horas, me dijeron que sería de 8 a 10 de la noche, si no me equivoco, uh -huh. pero me dijeron de que ya no es así como este módulo, que es el 3, que es solo de una hora. Dicen uh -huh. que iban a tomar en cuenta asistencia, o sea, es como uh -huh. que estemos recibiendo clases prácticamente. Eh, ya, ajá. Correct. The thing is that uh, the, the courses for Insofor are very strict. Son bien estrictos, entonces ellos eh, tienen ciertas características que piden, eh, ciertas reglas que tienen también. Entonces, en ese caso, eh, nosotros y la compañía tiene que seguir lo, lo que pide Insofor. Pero el más indicado para darles toda esa información, como decía la compañera, es Jonathan. ¿verdad? Lo, que voy, lo que puedo hacer yo ahorita es que les puedo enviar a todos, a todo el grupo, los dos documentos que ellos nos han compartido para que podamos compartirlo con ustedes, valga la redundancia. Ahí se los voy a forwardear en WhatsApp. Give me a second. Para que los tengan. Mm. Y oh, puede que varios de ustedes ya los tengan, ¿ok? Entonces. Perfecto. Teacher, entonces sí, ese es el módulo, módulo 4. Eh, hasta Así donde es, tengo es entendido, yo... sí. Teacher. Ah, vaya. Uh -huh. Pero ellos les van a dar más información de alguna u otra opción a seguir. Teacher, ¿Sí? yo solo una observación, fíjese que eh, tal vez usted lo puede platicar, porque, por ejemplo, en mi caso, yo trabajo eh, casi siempre... Estoy ocupada hasta como las 6 de la tarde y a veces 6.30 de mi trabajo, cosas de mi trabajo. Y yo ya tengo programada una clase eh, antes a esta de 7.30 a 8.30 de la noche. Entonces yo me inscribí en ese horario porque era como el que me quedaba más cómodo. Pero ya utilizar dos horas completas realmente me corta lo otro que tengo que hacer y realmente no me gustaría dejar en los módulos, pues. Uh -huh. Pero lo que veo sí es que no hay otras opciones de horario porque solo hay de 6 a 8 y, y de 8 a 10. Entonces, 
Sí, siento que de 6 a 8 yo no me puedo incorporar porque eh, me choca con todo. O sea, acabo de terminar, me tengo que hacer otra clase. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo no sé si realmente pueden considerar tal vez horario porque uh -huh. es bien complicado. Teacher. Lo que, que, dígame. Eh, contestando a lo que la compañera dice, yo uh -huh. también hice esa, esa pregunta, porque igual yo trabajo hasta las 6 y 30, 7 de la noche, uh -huh. entonces le dije yo, y más después me toca que manejar, y le dije yo, una hora, no puedo ir escuchándolo tampoco, pero sí, uh -huh. ahí compañera, si sí, no hay excepciones, a mí me dijeron que no, o, o lo toma o lo deja, sí, a, a buen salvadoreño, entonces, uh -huh. eh, así me dijeron, porque dicen que no pueden estar haciendo excepciones, lo más que lo pueden esperar a uno, para ingresar a la clase son 5 a 10 minutos, porque yo le dije, no puedo ingresar una media hora después, pero dicen que ya lo tomarían como que uno no asistió a la clase. Uh -huh. Y quizás ahí la única sugerencia, perdón, solo lo último comentarle, lo, este, se haría de que si realmente tomen los horarios en consenso del grupo, porque si nosotros no, por lo menos en mi caso, si yo me inscribí en ese horario, es porque en el que podía asistir y no quería dejar tirar las clases. Pero ya con esa modalidad no estoy segura. Por eso es que no he seguido todo el proceso ahorita, porque de verdad no estoy segura si voy a poder incorporar. Continuo. Sí, en ese caso, permítame, Samuel. En ese caso, yo, eh, bueno, lo, que, lo más recomendable es que ustedes hablen con la, con la persona administrativa, ¿verdad? Porque eso son los que están a cargo. Eh, de dar esta información y créanme que no lo hacen con ninguna intención de, 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 de dañarle sus horarios ya establecidos, sino que eso ya, ya viene eh, para que tengan un poquito de más información de inglés, ¿verdad? Por el momento solo son cuatro horas y a, si se fijan a veces no alcanza, ¿verdad? El tiempo. En cambio que ya con dos horas es más provechoso el tiempo, son, serían diez horas a la semana. Y yo creo que el... el, el Prácticamente el propósito es que aprendan un poquito más. Pero lo, lo mejor, lo mejor del caso es hablar con ellos. Eh, creo que están abiertos para hablar con ustedes. Eh, como decía Johnny, ya le dieron una respuesta, pero también en ese caso, eh, no sé, hablarían ustedes con ellos a ver qué, qué más pueden obtener. Right. That would be the only option. Samuel. Sí, este, con respecto a lo que están hablando, eh, yo tenía entendido que eh, como que habían decidido eh, incluir el día viernes como para sustituir este, este tiempo de la clase, pero no sé, algo así entendí yo uh -huh. en un correo que me enviaron, que iban a hacer las clases de lunes a viernes. Correct. Yo no iba a hacer de lunes a jueves. Correct. It's going to be from Monday to Friday. Va a ser de lunes a viernes como decía Karen y Johnny, de dos horas diarias. Esa es la información que nos ah. han proporcionado. Y nosotros estamos autorizados a, pro, a proporcionarles la información eh, y la que ya les compartí también eh, con los PDFs, ¿verdad? Y sin, no les quiero dar como información incorrecta o predisponerlos. Si en este caso, sí tenemos que, que preguntarle a Jonathan Guzmán, que es la persona que nos está ayudando para esos cambios, ¿verdad? Pero sí, lo, lo okay. bueno, la, la ventaja que siento yo es que son, es más tiempo, ¿verdad? Para, para trabajar. Con respecto a los horarios, Johnny, eh, sí, no, no, no sabía que con cinco minutos tarde ya, ya estaba. Como sí, teacher, centro. yo le pregunté porque le dije yo que si podía incorporarme a las ocho y treinta, ¿verdad? Porque le dije yo, muy peligroso ir manejando y ir recibiendo las clases, pero me dijo lo más que le puedo esperar, me dijo diez minutos porque si no me dijo ustedes, como que no entre a la clase, porque como que pasan asistencia. Y sí, los horarios me dijeron que van a ser de lunes a viernes. Correct, es a little bit more intensive. Es más intensivo, inglés intensivo prácticamente. Uh -huh. Correcto. Correcto, pero en este caso, eh, ya en los, en los dos documentos que yo les compartí, chicos, Ahí están lo, lo, los contactos de las tres personas que les pueden dar la información. No solamente es el contacto de Jonathan, sino que también está el contacto de eh, Gabriela, que nos puede ayudar y darnos más información al respecto, ¿verdad? Para que todos estemos claros de cuál va a ser el proceso a seguir para el mes de julio. ¿Right? Ok. 
Yes, nice, okay. uh, Clarissa. <laughs> right, teacher. Okay, very good. So let's let's practice right now. Uh, like I said yesterday, we'll. Uy, no me miro. Okay. <laughs> like I said yesterday, we are going to practice with simple past, right? That's what we're going to do. And with simple past, I would like you to tell me uh, the things that you remember quickly yesterday from simple past. What do you remember? Jorge? Uh, the structure is uh, a few of sentence, uh -huh. verb, verb and past plus complement. Okay. Plus complement. Okay, perfect. Let me share my screen because I need you to see what I'm what I'm doing here. Okay. Perfect. Now here I have uh Jorge says that the affirmative form is subject plus very past plus complement. Very good. So what would be the negative form here, uh Karen? Um, the negative form is subject mm -hmm. plus did plus not plus verb in base form. Verb in base form, uh huh. Plus, plus complement. Plus complement. Okay, wonderful. That's what we have. And we have something else, right? Once we have the negative forms, we need to make questions, right? How do you create questions and simple past, Rodrigo Maravilla? Rodrigo? Did. Mm -hmm. Did. The subject. Plus subject. Okay. Plus verb in base form. Plus verb in base form. And complement. Plus complement. Is that it? Only that? Uh, uh, the question sign. Question mark. Very good. Mark. Very good. Very good. And how do you respond to these questions? What do you use to respond to these questions? If I ask you a question, let's see here. Uh, Ana Marielos. If I ask you, uh, Marielos, did you did you drink coffee? Uh, did you drink coffee yesterday? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I did. Yes, I did. Very good. And if it's negative? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Very good. And how do you call these type of answers? How do you call this answer? How do you call these answers? Short answer. Short answers, very good. We have short answers, very good. So this is what we did yesterday. And we practice with two oh, types sure. of verbs. Yes. <laughs> we practice with two type of verbs. What are the verbs that we practice? Regular verbs and irregular verbs. Regular verbs. verbs. Regular and irregulars, very good. So that's what we did, right? We practice here the, uh, well, the spelling of the words, right? We can see here the spelling rules. Do you have your examples for the spelling rules? ¿Qué ejemplos, qué ejemplos tienen con estas, con estas reglas? None? What would be the spelling of the verb if I have the verb, for example, arrive? Is the verb for this, 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 or the last one? The first one. The first ending one. Ending in E. Ending in E. Very good, we just add D, right? Very good, very good. What other verb do you remember? Walk. I have, 
Okay, walk. Okay, walk. So what happens with the verb walk? Where should I put the verb walk? Where? Vowel and W-A-L-K. Okay. Okay, walk. Very good. Where should I put this? E-D. E-D. Okay, very good. E-D. So I have this with, in, in which one? Here, here, here. In which row? In what? Mm. Is it's like the first one too. Second. It's like the first one, not really. Second. Right. Is the second? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. E D. Okay, with E D. Right. Very good. With E D. Very good. We have in this case, what we're doing here is that with this type of verb, right? We have a vowel plus a vowel sound, right? Tenemos, tenemos una consonant, right? Al final, miren acá, walk, right? La mayoría de verbos regulares siempre van a terminar con ed, right? La mayoría. Estas, estas reglas que tenemos acá son como las excepciones que vamos, que las que le tenemos que poner más atención porque son las más difíciles, right? Pero no son difíciles. You just need to remember that. You just need to practice them, right? Okay, very good. So, what about pronunciation? Let me see if you practice pronunciation. Vamos a ver si practicaron pronunciation. Let's see. Give me a second. Okay, perfect. Did you practice pronunciation? No? Let's see here, Felix. Are you there? Yes, maybe? Yes. Okay. Now, Felix, you're going to help me out with the pronunciation of this verse, right? And Samuel, you're going to help me out with the pronunciation of this. Then I okay. have Clarissa. You're going to help me with this. Let's start, Felix. Okay. One, two. Mm -hmm. Needed. Needed, okay, wanted and needed. Very good. Now let's see somewhere. Oh. Help. Mm -hmm. Look. Es, es, sniff, sniffed. Es sniffed, okay, es sniffed. Es sniffed. Mm -hmm. uh, Laugh. What? Laugh. What? 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 No, until here. Ah. Only this. Okay. Low. Laugh. 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 Listen, Samuel. La Samuel, listen. Laughed. Laughed. Okay. Okay, Laugh. very good. Repeat after me, please. Laughed. Laugh. Laughed. Like this. Laugh. Laugh. Laughed. Laugh. Very good. Laugh. Very good. Right? Laugh. Very good. Okay. Now continue, Clarissa. Wash it. Okay, okay. Listen. We have this sound. This sound. Washed. Very good. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. Kids. Uh -huh. Dance. Uh -huh. Fit it. And? Fit it. Okay. Fit. Fixed. Very good. Fixed. Very good. Who wants to try with the last sound? Who wants to try? I need to Good have teacher. two people. Okay. Who was that? Can you Me. Me, teacher. Lester. And I need someone else with this. Two people. Lester is first, and then? Me. Marielle's. Good. Perfect. Let's see. 
Okay. Uh, call it. Okay. Clean it. Lester. Offer it. Lester. Look at the pronunciation. Felix did this. Wanted. Needed. But you have to do the sound. The. So, the. for example, if I have this verb ends with end, right? So I need to add ed, and ed is in this column. So I say listened, listened, right? Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's try one more time. Call it. Called. Called. Oh. Mm -hmm. Clean it. Cleaned. Offer it. Offered. Damaged. Damaged. Very good. Now one more time, Lester. Call it. No. Called. Called. Very good. Clean it. Cleaned. Offer it. Offered. Damaged. Damaged. Very good. Tenemos que ser bien cuidadosos en, en este tipo de, de, de verbos que terminan con estas letras. No le vamos a agregar la extra sílabo que le agregamos acá. Okay, you have to be very careful. Let's see, eh, Marielos. Love, use, amazed, rub, claimed. Claimed, very good, very good. So that's what we have, right? Necesito que practiquen esto, no es porque sea fácil, sino que that's what we need to do. We need to practice a lot, right? It's important that we practice. Now, Let's see here, we're going to do something else. We're going to do an exercise and we're going to have these verbs. I need someone to help me reading these verbs. Right, it says complete the sentences in the past tense using the correct verb. So can you tell me, can you read the verse for me please, Dennis? Can you read the verbs? Dennis. Dennis. Okay, Dennis is not there. Let's see here. Karen. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Play, enjoy, watch, listen, talk, phone, stop. Walk, travel, like, stay. Stay. Very good. So these are the verbs that we're going to use right now. Right. Look at the verbs right here. We're going to use the verbs. For example, it says, I watched the late film on TV last night. That's one verb. Right. I'm using watch. Right. Then I'm going to complete these sentences. Right. And I have the number one. It says, we really, the concert last night. It was great. Which verb do you think is best for this sentence? We really play. Hmm? Is that correct? We really play the concert? Enjoy. 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 Very good. We really enjoyed the concert last night. It was great. Right? Perfect. So that's what we're going to do. Va a ser un poquito más difícil. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. Porque en este ejercicio ya tenía los verbos. You remember? Right? Solo les poníamos el ending. But in this one, you're going to practice the meaning of the verbs. Right? The meaning of the verbs. Right? So, do we understand what we're going to do? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, are you sure? Yes? yes. Okay, yes. so I'm going to send you right now this exercise to your message here. We're going to take just until 9.30 to practice with this. So we need to work real fast, right? But we're going to work in groups, so there's no problem, right? Let's see here. Do you get the, the, the pictures? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes okay. Teacher. Wonderful, wonderful. 
So let me go ahead now. I am going to put you in groups. I'm going to place you in groups so we can start working. We're going to work in pairs. Okay. Okay. Okay, very good. Let's see. Okay, let's start at this moment right here. One to two participants. Let me see, is everyone here? Okay, very good. Let's start right now, right? And I will be in each of the groups at this moment. I will be with you. Voy a estar con cada uno de ustedes. Entonces, vámonos ya para los grupos. Let's start. Let's go, Jorge, Karen, Fernando, Lester, Dennis, Michelle. Let's go to the groups. Dennis. Hi Clarissa, disculpe que la moví para acá, pero Denis no sé por qué no se une al grupo. Entonces lo man, la mandé para acá, ¿ok? Para que no esté sola Marielos. Ok. Ok. You. You're welcome. I'll see you in a minute. Do you have questions right now about the activity? Um, no for the moment. No for the moment, ok. I'll be back in a minute, ¿ok? Yes, ya ya las acompaño de nuevo. Por si tienen preguntas, escriben al chat. Okay. Good. Sartu, la número dos. Dice she. She. With friends in brick. With friends in Brixton last summer. Summer. She. she Watch. Travel, creo que es viajar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. How are you? Okay. Hi. Now we, we need to put the verb in past form. She traveled. Traveled. Tra traveled. Mm -hmm. uh, Travel. Et. 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 Mhm. Se pronuncia troubled. Troubled. Very good. Very good. Lo que le estaba diciendo Lester cuando estaba pronunciando los otros verbos es que tenemos las tres. Ponga la imagen que tienen verde ahí. Ya la vi. La de pronunciation. Okay. Good. Ay. Uy, se pasó, se pasó, se pasó, se pasó. Eh, that Esa. one. Exactly. What I was telling you is that in the middle, right? In the middle, se estaba diciendo lo de, lo de, lo de la, la columna al final. Si usted los pronuncia, call it, clint, está, usted automáticamente está pasando los verbos para la columna número uno. Y esos oh. verbos no se pueden decir así, call it, clean it, offer it. Porque no terminan con T y con D, sino que sus terminaciones son con estas letras. L, N, R, right? L, N, R, G. So that's why I was telling you cold, clean, oh. right? That's why. Cold, oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Thank you, teachers. <laughs> You're sí, welcome. Sí. Hay una gran diferencia con eso. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cold. any more questions? Do you have mm. more questions? No. Carla, you have no. 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 Okay. Okay. So oh, I will go to you. another group. Okay. Okay. 
Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. Vamos a tomar esto de referencia, Carla. Sí. Para que se le Italia jugó mejor en la última Copa del Mundo. Sí. Eh, ah, pues sería play, play, la, la I la vas a sustituir por... No, 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 esta no. No. No, lo que pasa es que esa se sustituye, si te fijas en el ejemplo, cuando la, la I está a la par de una consonante, se sustituye por la I normal y se le pone la I. La I, la, ¿cómo sí. se llama? Leí con puntito, yo no me acuerdo cómo se dice. Ajá, cuando, est cuando estás al final de una consonante y más la Y, o la y se le agrega Why? la I normal uh -huh. y el D. Y latina. Cambio, y latina. En cambio, cuando es cuando, cuando está a la par de una consonante, de una consonante y la Y, se, solo se le agrega el D. Ok, muy bien, muy bien. Maya, she, 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 Ajá, phone usualmente es un teléfono. Y si lo estamos usando como verbo, ¿qué creen ustedes que significa? What do you think is the meaning? Llamar. Exactly, very good. Very good. That's the meaning. Sí. Perfect. Ok. <laughs> sí. Ok, let's continue. I will go to another group, ok? Or do you have a question? No, teacher. No, okay. So we'll go to another group right now, okay? Okay. okay. Bye bye. See you in a minute. Thank you. Sure. You're welcome. Hi, do you have a question? Uh, miss. Uh huh. <laughs> help me. Oh, help, help ups. Um, is correct the four is travel italy travel very well in the last travel traveled mm -hmm. but well in the last work up yeah. what is the meaning of world cup samuel and michel what is the meaning of world cup El, eh, is spanish puedo <laughs> mm -hmm. go ahead mundo le mundo pero copa de mundo Copa del Mundo. ¿Qué es la Copa del Mundo, Samuel? Y como de fútbol. Exactly. La Copa Mundial de Fútbol. Okay, very good. So, what, what's the, the best verb that you can use? World Cup. Look at this. Play. Play. Very good. Right? Because for World Cup, this is what we have. Right? FIFA. Right? Oh. Copa Mundial. Ese es el significado de World Cup. Right? Copa Mundial. Right, so the best bird that we can use is Italy played very well in the last World Cup. Thank you, me. You're welcome. So let's continue. I want to listen another another time. I and the fight is correct. I stop it. Your fourth time last night, but you were sleeping. Okay, what's the meaning of a stop? ¿Cuál es el Parar. significado de stop? Ajá. And it says, I stopped you four times last night, but you were sleeping. What is the meaning of sleeping? Dormir. Ok. ¿Cómo lo va a parar si está dormido? Ah, uh, no, no, no. Ajá. Right? We can't, right? Because you're sleeping. Right? Yeah. So what's the best part? Let's look for another part. I stay. I stay you four times. What's the meaning of a stay? De quedarse. Mm -hmm. I stay your time. Yo me quedé 
por... No. En la noche pasada me quedé dormido por cuatro horas. Es correcto. No. 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 Ay. Look at the verb that says that is similar to call. What is the verb that is similar to call? Oh, phone. Phone. Very good. Phone oh. no, solo, no solo se utiliza para decir teléfono, sino que phone también se utiliza para llamar. I phone you for times. It is the similar cold. It's, it's the same as call. It's the same. Mm -hmm. um. You can say, I phone you four times. Como que no bien enojada, ¿verdad? I phone you four times last night. Or you were sleeping. Um, ah, right. O esa es una I versión know. tóxica. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank uh -huh. you. <laughs> I phone you. I phone you. Four times last night. Four times last night. And you were sleeping. Very good. Let me listen to Samuel. Samuel, let's do number six. What do you think number six is? Uh, number six. Mm -hmm. We 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 walk along the beach yesterday. It was lovely. Wonderful, Samuel. That's perfect. Perfect. Good job. Perfect. We walked along the beach yesterday. It was lovely. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So that's what we need to do, right? So I think we're going to close the rooms right now y vamos a ver las respuestas que tenemos todos para hacer otro ejercicio, ¿ok? Ok, so me, see. thank you. You're welcome, Michelle. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's go, let's go. Hello. How many people do I have? Let's see here. We only have Lester or Johnny. Let me see here. Oh, no, just Johnny. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. So let's start right now. Right, we're going to start working here. I will going to see what's going on with your information, with your answers. Can you see my computer? Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Wonderful, wonderful. So let's go ahead and see. Yo creo que estamos todos. No, no, faltan dos más. Okay. So we're going to start. Number one is completed, right? It says, we really enjoyed the concert last night. It was great, right? So let's see number two. Yes. Okay, very good. Hay una opción para levantar la mano en su Zoom. Tratemos de levantar la mano para ver acá. ¿Quién fue primero? Félix. Ok, hablo. No sé. Yo. Okay, good. Number two, she stayed. She stayed with friend in Britain last summer. Perfect, very good. What about number three? Michelle, go ahead. The three Italy played very well in the last World Cup. Wonderful, Michelle, that's great. Now let's see number four. Who wants to do number four? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, who's me? Karen. Karen, okay, Karen, very good. Number four. Mm -hmm. Her parents traveled by train from Kiev to Moscow. To Moscow, very good. Very good, Karen, that's perfect. Number five. Number five. Me, me okay. teacher. Go ahead. I fall. You four times last night, but you, but you were sleeping. 
Okay, I found you four times last night, but you were sleeping. Okay, very good. I'm gonna put the, here the answers so you can see the answers, right? Okay, now who wants to do number six? Number six? Nobody? Okay, let's see. We, we have three people we will. here. Michelle. Me, teacher. <laughs> okay, but let, let's practice with Manuel and then Michelle, okay? Manuel. Okay, number six. Uh -huh. is, we light along the beach yesterday. It was lovely. Mm, okay, Manuel, can you can you speak louder? Puede hablar más fuerte. Yo no lo escuché. No sé si los demás lo escucharon. Oh, okay. No, teacher. Oh, okay, teacher. Es light along the beach yesterday. It we liked. Was... We liked along the beach yesterday. It mm -hmm. was lovely. Okay, what do you think about this answer, people? Who has a different answer? Okay, Marielos. Walked. We walked, very good. We walked, when we say we walked, Manuel, is when you are, for example, with your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Right, and you're holding hands, romanticos en la playa, right? So that's what you say, walk along the beach, right? Yesterday. Very good. Let's see number okay. number seven, Ana Marielos. It's liked. Hmm? Liked. She liked the film, but she didn't like the main hero. Is that correct? Does it make sense? Watch. Okay. We can say watch too, okay. We have two options here. We can say, you know what? She liked the movie. She liked the film, but she didn't like the main hero. Le gustó la película, pero no le gustó el, princip el, el personaje principal, right? Or she watched the film, but she didn't like the main hero. Both options are correct, right? Okay, both options are right. Let's see number eight, who's who? Okay, let's see here. I have Rodrigo, go ahead, Rodrigo. The man stopped to work at Tico Club. The man stopped work, okay, at six o'clock, okay. Very good. So let's see number nine. Number nine. Nobody? I listened the new Shakira album yesterday. Before I listened. Very good. Felix, right? I listened the new Shakira's album yesterday. It was great. Oh, it's great. Very good. And number 10. They talked to us about their trip to India. It was very interesting. Very good. They talked to us, right, about their trip to India. It was very interesting. Very good. You see, we have here the answers, right, for the exercise. Was it difficult? Estuvo difícil? No. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit, right? Not too much, right? Not too much. So let's go ahead and do something else. We're going to do more practice, okay? I'm going to show you more practice. Yo les expliqué, ahora les toca a ustedes, right? So here we practice, we're going to practice, no, not yet. We have this, right? It says, it's strange but true. Complete the sentences with verbs in the past simple. Choose from, and we have the verbs that we're going to use. These verbs are irregular verbs. They are not regular verbs. These are irregulars. So, yesterday I told you what to, how to use 
uh, Google, right? Do you remember? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, so I told you how to use uh, this information. Can you see my computer now? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, all right. Okay, very good. But what we're going to do right now, no, we're going to do the, the conversation. I want you to do the conversation. These are the questions, right? We know how to make questions, right? We know how to give the short answers. Do you remember this part? We saw this yesterday, right? This is just a, a refresher. So es para que se recuerden, right? So we make questions in past. For this, we have a conversation. It says there, complete the conversations and then practice with a partner. Eso está más fácil porque ya tenemos los verbos que vamos a utilizar. So it's going to be speaking only. If I have, for example, number one, I have letter A and letter B. I want, Karen, can you help me out to be letter B? Letter B. Yes, I'm going to be letter A and you are going to be letter B, okay? Okay. So, uh, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I have, uh, I have a, a great summer. I have, very good, Manuel. I had a great I had, summer. Okay, I had, I had. I had a great summer. I went summer. to the beach a lot. I went, I went to, to the, the beach. beach a lot. Very good. So if you see in this exercise, we have regular and irregular verbs. That's what we're going to do, right? But we're going to practice also the conversation. We're going to do some speaking. Aún tenemos 15 minutos, so we're going to do that right now. Okay, so I'm going to send this to your WhatsApps right now. Just give me one second. And we're going to practice and we're going to do this. I think we can do it in pairs, right? Let's see. We have two to three participants. Bueno, me va a quedar dos grupos de tres. Right, we're going to recreate, we're going to work with other people. So are you ready for the practice? Do you have any questions before we start? Any questions? No? Not the check. Okay, so let's start. Let's start. Let's join the groups. Unamonos a los grupos. Let's go ahead and and join the groups, Lester, Manuel, Clarissa, Manuel, Lester. Okay. I did dijo ahí la teacher, ¿verdad? En B. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I did. I had a great summer. I went to the beach. Go. Okay. Um, tengo duda cómo es go. El go. El went. It's when. It's when. Very good. Es que no estuvo en la clase de ayer. Bueno. Ah, y no he podido subir los videos. Es, es, es mía culpa. No, no, no tuve internet fijo. And so they did, uh, I couldn't answer this. Okay. And like two is, did you two. go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed. Here I got a part-time job, so I made some extra money. Three. And uh, did you take it? Take any class last summer? Yes, I did. I take tennis lesson 
Um, I play it tennis every day. Fernando? Four. Did you speak English last summer? No, I did not. But I read mm -hmm. English book and I watched English movie. I stay here. I got a party time job, so I made some extra money. Okay, did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lessons and played tennis every day. Okay, did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't, but I read English book and watched English movie. Okay, uh -huh. good turn. Okay, hoy yo soy la A, tú sos la B. Do you okay. have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I went to the beach a lot. Do you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed here. I got a part-time job. Very so good. I made so I made some extra money. Do you take any class last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lesson. Lesson or lesson? Lesson. Very good. Very good. Go ahead. The tennis lesson and I played uh, tennis every day. Do you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. But I read, speak, I, pardon, but, I, but I read English books and I watched English movies. Okay. Okay. Sweet. I, sure. don't I have a question. Yes, brother. Uh, read. It's a irregular verb. Read. Verdad? Yes. But the past tense read. of read is read. It just changes the pronunciation. Read. Read. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Solo cambia la pronunciación. That's the only thing. Is for example the verbs. I'm going to put here the verbs. Los, los verbos más comunes que no cambian son read, cut, put. Right. Por ejemplo, en read solo cambiamos la pronunciación. Right. I read one book yesterday. Mm -hmm. Then cut is the same. Cut. Right. And then put is the same. Put. Right. La pronunciación ni siquiera cambia, sino que se mantiene. Right. Those are examples of three verbs okay. that are irregular verbs. Good question, Rodrigo. Very good. Okay. Any more yeah. questions? No, teacher. Okay, wonderful. I will go to another group, okay? Okay. okay. Thank you. And... <laughs> No sabía. <risa> o, sea que, o sea que ya esa va a ser la nueva modalidad a partir sí, de... A partir del primero de... No, empieza el 5 de julio, creo que decía la, la instrucción. Empieza el 5 de julio. Entonces, have... mañana... Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, practice. Practice. <risa> Did you have a good summer? <laughs> yes, I did. I had a great summer. I went to the beach a lot. Okay. Did you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed here. I got a part-time job, so I made some extra money. Did you take any class last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lesson and I played tennis every day. Okay. Did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. But I read English books and watch English movies. Yes. Yes. No, yes. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. Okay, we're going to finish the groups in a, in one minute. Okay, so keep practicing. Okay, okay teacher. teacher. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Can you see my computer? Hi. Yes. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Perfect, perfect. So we're going to practice. We're just going to wait for the others, right? So we can have more people here. Okay. I have a question. What's your question? Tell me. But I can read solo cambia a red. Se escribe igual en pasado. Sí, lo mismo. No ah, sé, lo, la única diferencia acá es la pronunciación. the pronunciation. The pronunciation. Okay. Exactly. That means that means that read is an irregular verb. Es irregular. Mm -hmm. Si no le agregamos de e d i e d, then it's mm -hmm. irregular. Okay. Irregular. Okay. So how many people I have? I have twelve people already. Okay, very good. So let's see the practice here. I have four conversations, right? So I want some people to work. El que levante la mano va a trabajar con su pareja. Right, with the ones that you practice. So for conversation one, who wants to practice? Okay, Dennis. Who work with Dennis? Anna, okay, Anna and Dennis. Okay, let's see. Letter A and letter B for number one. Dennis, Anna. Hello. Uh, Hello. The I know. Yes. Did you have a good summer? Yes. yes, I did. Okay. Ah, bueno. hmm? It's a conversation, Dennis. It's a conversation. Ah, sí, perdón, perdón. Sí, perdón. Did you have <laughs> Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I went to the beach a lot. Very good. Very good. Now I have conversation number two. Uh, another participant? Another person? Nobody? One, two, three. Okay, Karen. Who practice with Karen? Quien trabajo con Karen? Lester. Lester, okay, Karen and Lester. Number two. Okay, okay. Karen, I, I will be letter A. Okay. Did you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed here. I got a part-time job, so I make some extra money. Very good, very good. Let's see here, conversation three. Conversation three. Another, another person. Why are you so shy tonight? Don't be shy. Again, the Marielos, very good. Yo trabajé con Carla. Usted trabajó con Carla, ok. Y sí. then for the last activity, we're going to have another, ok. Mariela sin Carla. Let's see. Did you take any class last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lessons and I played tennis every day. Perfect, perfect. I like that. And the last conversation. The last one. Nobody? Uy. Dennis. Dennis. Okay, very good. Who work with Dennis? ¿Quién trabaja con Dennis? No me acuerdo cómo se llamaba. Quiero ver. <laughs> Felix, creo. Felix, okay. Dennis sí. and Felix. Okay. Okay. Did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. But I read English book and 
I watch English movies. Very good. Very good. So if you see here, guys, this, with these conversations, right, what we do is to put the verbs that we're using in simple past, we'll put them in context, right? Si se fijan, lo que tratamos de hacer, como en el portal les dice, estamos tratando de utilizar el pasado simple, pero no solo gramaticalmente, sino que en contexto, en escenarios reales. Right, so these conversations are real life scenarios, right? Uh, so we practice right now the past tense of verbs, regulars and irregulars, but I want you to practice too with another exercise. This exercise is also with irregular verbs, only irregular verbs. So I need you to do that. That, will, that This would be the first activity that we're going to do tomorrow. Right, I sent it right now to your WhatsApp. So you have six verbs that you're going to use, okay, for the activity tomorrow. Do you have a question for today's class? Questions? No, teacher. No? No, okay. teacher. Okay. What about the others? Thank you, Maria and Karen. Samuel, no? no Do you I have don't. a question? Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Jorge, Dennis, Carla. Fernando, Clarissa. No questions? question, teacher. No questions. Okay, okay. So in this case, we're going to finish here. It's 10.04, but we're going to finish. And don't forget to send me a WhatsApp message if you need more information so I can connect you to Jonathan. O ustedes le pueden escribir directamente mañana para que les conteste. O péguenle una llamada, okay? So they can give you more information. So I really hope you have a good night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay? See you tomorrow, teacher. Good, good night, night, teacher. Bye. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night, good night. <laughs>